our fifth and final drill in our strict pullover series is the full low bar pullover. So in our first four progressions, we've done more of a modification to our low bar pullover. And now we're getting rid of all the boxes, all the noodles, all the extra equipment, and simply practicing the modified pullover without any equipment, just ourselves. So let me show you what that looks like. Variation number one, single leg. And variation number two, both legs as one solid unit. Okay, so like with all four of our other drills, I'm starting in that extended hang position. I'm practicing to build strength for my full strict chin up. And then I'm using the kicking momentum of my dominant leg to help me rotate up and around the back side of the bar to go through that pullover movement pattern. And then on the second variation, I make it more challenging on myself by keeping my legs together as one solid unit. I don't get that same kicking momentum and power that I do from my single leg low bar pullover, which again makes it harder. So I'm continuing to start at a more beginner drill and make my way towards the full strict chin up pullover a little bit at a time as I strengthen my body and improve my overall movement pattern. Now, because we are not using any boxes, we're starting from the floor, right? It's more challenging for you. It's more challenging for the gymnast versus using that high box that we use for our box walking pullover. Even the tall box or the short box we use in our box pullover variations. So you wanna take some time, you wanna allow your gymnast some learning, some growing time to get used to this next progression because it will be a little bit harder. Another great thing that you can practice with this drill is instead of starting in an extended hang with your legs bent, make that first strict chin up portion a little bit harder as well so that you continue to build the strength you need for the full skill. So we can strengthen or straighten our legs here so that we're using less of our legs to do our pull up. And then at the top of our pull, chins above the bar, the gymnast can then put the feet on the floor to rest before lifting the legs and actually doing the full low bar pull up. There, okay. So we're getting that necessary upper body strength. We're really challenging the hip flexors and the core by starting from a lower position and, and forcing ourselves to rotate our bodies around the back of the bar for the pull up. So I definitely recommend using this progression as your last one before moving on to the full skill or getting a spot from a coach on your full strict chin up pullover.